Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Haris Zafri. So, in the last uh, part of this series, we, we talked about uh, file operations, how to combine certain files and display the common output, how to uh, display certain characters of a file on the terminal, how to display a certain lines of the file on the terminal. Uh, so, we are going to go in the same direction, learn about some more operations which, which can be performed on a text file. All right. So let's get into our Windows command prompt, which is remotely, by the way, connected to uh, Linux uh, terminal, uh, which we did in the last uh, part of the series. All right. So uh, let's check who am I, the standard practice, just to confirm where am I? I am the desktop. Let's, let us list all the files. All right. So. I have made certain changes to this age, the content of the age file, as you can see. So I have written three consecutive Haris, then a John, then three consecutive Nisha, followed by Haris and Kane. All right. So let's get out of this uh, text viewer. Now, there is a command called uh, sort. If you type sort followed by the name of the file uh, as you can see the nisha i typed three times was uh, above this cane so let's check the content again the original content all right so it was three nisha followed by a haris then a cane but sort command essentially has uh, uh, output a dis uh, uh, you know it's displayed an output where it has arranged the contents of the file in alphabetical order. All right, so four Haris are now uh, together because H is the uh, in ascending order of alf in alphabetically ascending order. H comes before J, J comes before K, and K comes before N. So if you want to uh, arrange the lines of file in alphabetical order, sort is your command. All right, so I I recommend you to play with it now another command i would like to tell you is uh, unique all right so u n i q unique if you type unique followed by the file name what you will get is uh, is the unique names but in consecutive order so three haris how many haris are there in the original file 1 2 3 and 4 so essentially there must be only one Haris, but the unique command, what it does, it takes the consecutive uh, lines as common. So three Haris will become one Haris, one John will remain one John, three Nisha will become one Nisha, one Haris will be one Haris, and one Cain will be one Cain. All right. So unique command basically outputs the unique lines, but those lines have to be consecutive. All right. You can play around with this uh, unique command. What you can do is that if you if you type unique followed by hyphen, uh, let's say hyphen C, it will give you a count. So there are three consecutive Haris, one John, three consecutive Nishas, one Haris and one Kane. You can observe the original content of the file here. And you can certainly see that what this unique hyphen C, this flag hyphen C, this is called a flag this flag hyphen c has done uh, is that it has counted the number of uh, instances as well along with the uh, name of that line all right you can do unique hyphen let's say here uh, what you can do you can you can type d and it will it will it will output the 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 uncommon names all right so uh, the uh, common names so if you remember exactly Haris and Nisha. Uh, let's type unique hyphen U. So it will display the unique names. So John, Haris, and Kane are the unique names. So if you if you observe the original file, Kane was unique. Haris, the one time Haris was unique, and John was unique. So it it displayed John, Haris, and Kane. And uh, if you type hyphen D flag. It will display the uh, the the contents which are common. So three Haris. It has displayed that Haris is is the one which is being uh, consecutively repeated, 
and Nisha is the one which is being consecutively repeated. So these three flags can be used. All right. So uh, as you can see, there is one problem in this unique command. If you can see UNIQ followed by age. So if I type this command, what it will do is that uh, Harris is coming twice. This problem can be sorted out uh, like this. So first you sort the file. First you sort the file and then give a pipe address. This, uh, this is something new for you. Just I'm giving it to you and followed by unique. So what it will do is that it will sort it first and the result of this, the result of this uh, operation will be transferred to this new command. So it will be sorted first and the result will be transferred to this new command and uh, the result is in front of you. So Harris will indeed come. Uh, on the other hand, if you type just unique age, there are two different uh, outputs. All right. So the problem with the unique command is that it does not, uh, it only counts the consecutive uh, lines, common lines. Uh, on the other hand, if you combine this unique operation with sort operation uh, and display this pipe sign in between, then the first operation will be executed and the result of that first operation will be transferred to the second operation. All right. So this is something which you have to practice. Uh, it might look that uh, you have understood it, but once you get on with it and you start doing it, you will realize that you are making mistakes. All right. So another file, I, another command I would like to tell you is the uh, word count. All right. So if you want to count the number of lines, number of, uh, let's say, uh, characters in a file, uh, WC is your, uh, is your uh, way to go. So what does it do? Uh, it's outputting the number of uh, it's outputting the number of lines and the number of uh, let's say it's outputting the number of uh, characters uh, number of words so let's check less age all right so there are nine lines one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine lines nine words and a total of uh, 52 characters and followed by the name of the file. So WC will essentially tells you the number of lines, number of uh, words, number of characters, uh, if you want to find it out. I think if you use WC followed by, let's find out the flags of uh, WC help. All right, so if, if you type the L flag, uh, print the byte character, all right, C, M, and L. So as you can see, I never remember the, the, the flags, but uh, the help uh, help command always tells you what to do. So if you type WC followed by uh, uh, L and then you type the name of the file, it will tell you the number of lines. If you type WC hyphen M followed by the name of the file, it will tell you the number of characters and WC hyphen C followed by the name of the file, it will tell you the number of uh, bytes. It, it, it prints the byte counts. All right. And if you type WC followed by hyphen W followed by the name, it will tell you the number of words which are uh, inside this file. So this is something you have to practice. As you can see, I, I was not able to remember the flags, but this help command essentially helped me to find out what are the flags available. And I just read it and I applied it. All right. So uh, another, another command which can be used is NL. All right. So if you type NL followed by the file name or file path, let's say, what it will do is that it will display the output uh, along with the line names. All right. So it will, it will give a number to each line. All right. So NL hyphen LN surname this is this it has given essentially uh, it has provided line numbering all right so these are the commands which 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 i wanted to discuss with you uh, good luck like share subscribe thank you